Alrighty, it's time for another 6.5 PRC video. It's been a little while since we shot the rifle, and that was because we didn't have a whole lot of heavy class 6.5mm bullets, but I was able to pick up some 142 grain Sierra Match Kings, and that's what we're going to shoot today. We're going to use IMR 7977 and our Hornady Brass and CCI 34 primers. So I've been having some issues with some of Sierra's max lows lately, so we're going to start out a little bit lower than what they list. We're going to start out at 50. 5.0 and work our way up to 56.5, about a grain and a half below their max. Um, they're predicting some pretty reasonable velocities, so hopefully we see a little bit better velocity than what they're pointing to, but again, we don't want to get into any pressure because we've had some pressure issues lately using their low data. They list an overall length of 2.3, cartridge overall length. These hit the lands of my rifle at 2.990, so we're going to load them at 2.970. We're going to use three shot groups because I don't have many of these bullets and the component shortage is still there. Now again, it's been a little while since we've shot the 6.5 PRC, so let's get out on the range and let's see how they shoot. Alrighty, so we're out here on the range. This is my 24 inch Bagara B14 HMR chambered in 6.5 PRC. It's got an Athlon 4.5 to 27 optic on it. Target is at 100 yards. Gun is cool and it's about 70 degrees out. Beautiful day to shoot. A little bit of wind off the left, but um, nothing severe. Getting velocity through our lab radar. Alrighty, so we're shooting the 142 grain CR Match King with IMR 7977. Let's see if they'll shoot. All right, so we're already higher velocity than what Sierra predicted we were going to be at. Grass looks okay. Point of impact looks okay. Let's see if they'll group. So far, so good. All right, so that looks like a good group. Grass looks pretty good. I think the velocity looked pretty consistent as well. Let's check out what our velocity was there. Alright, velocity was 2831 feet per second with a 4.7 SD. Alright, moving on up. Alright, two out of three there grouped together. 
take a look at our velocity. Didn't look like we had much of a bump. Let's see here what we had. We had 28.38 with an SD of 9.2. Alright, let's go ahead and move on up. The rest looks fine. Alright, big bump in our velocity there. Brass still looks okay. This is old brass, so it's hard to tell what ejector, if there are any ejector marks that are new or if there are any that are left over from past firings. Yeah, brass looking okay. All right, not a bad looking group there. Let's take a look at our velocity numbers. All right, so that one there, we're looking at 28.74 average with a 5.9 SD. So really good number so far. Uh, barrel's pretty warm, so we might give it a couple minutes here to cool down. Uh, one thing that I noticed when I first got out on the bench today is it seems like the reticle on the scope has somehow canted. Uh, the gun's been in the safe, it hasn't really had anything done to it. Uh, seems like it's grouping okay, so, uh, but definitely might be giving Athlon a call to see what they, uh, want me to do with this scope. Um, it's it's one of my scopes I've had for a few years now without any issues, so I really like the optic, but definitely seems like something's going on with the reticle today. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move on up. Just got three more to fire. We're gonna go ahead and shoot them. See what we get with this last group. Alright, that one jumped up to 2,900 feet per second, but the brass looks fine. Um, point of impact did move. Again, I don't know if there's maybe something going on here. What's going on with that piece of brass? Interesting.
for some reason or another, this last one doesn't want a chamber. Hmm. Let me go ahead and pause this camera. Let me go down to the reloading room and take some measurements of this piece and see what's going on. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I went I went down and took some measurements on it. Seems like the piece of brass is fine, so it was just a little sticky going in. Hopefully it comes out okay. We're gonna find out here. All right, came out just fine. Well, I don't know if it just had a little burr on it, or uh, I don't know. All of them are resized together, so the shoulder should have bumped, been bumped pretty much the same amount. So I don't know. Um, same thing with the scope. Don't know what's going on with the scope. The groups look okay. So let's check out our velocity on those. All right, so that one was our worst SD of the day, 28.2894 feet per second with a 16.6 SD. And let's see here. 28. And the first shot screwed up our SD. So, all right, let's get over there to the target. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so taking a look at our target today, the first load at 55 grain, shot 2831 feet per second, 4.7 SD and a 0.34 inch group. Moving up to 55.5 grains, we shot 2838, 9.2 SD and a 0.89 inch group. 56 grains, we shot 2874, 5.9 SD and a 0.73 inch group. And our last group of the day at 56.5 grains, we shot 2894, 16.6 SD, an 8.82 inch group. So I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, we did exceed the velocities that they were expecting. I think the top load that, that Sierra listed, which was I think 57 point something grains, was at 2890 or something like that. So we really exceeded their velocity, um, even at these lower loads. Now, groups overall, we had a lot of horizontal stringing, seemed like on all the groups. SD numbers were pretty decent across the board. Um, I think I talked about it on the range, but something's going on with my um, Athlon scope. The reticle's just a little bit canted. I did go ahead and give them a call, and um, I'm going to send it in, and they're going to replace it. Now, they don't have any BTRs in stock right now, so they're going to replace it with one of the 5 to 25 minus tax. So that'll probably be on the next time you see the video. Now, they did talk about how it seems like when the reticle does cant like that, it doesn't affect the point of impact because the center is still in the center. So I guess that's why we still ended up with some decent groups. Now, taking a look at our brass, it's kind of tough to see if there's any pressure issues because this is, I think, five or six times fired brass. Um, I don't really see anything scary here. Now, based on our velocities, I probably wouldn't push up any higher. And really, if I wanted to use this load for something, I'd probably pick that first load, which is the lowest velocity. Looked like the best group and the best SD. Now, we'd obviously have to come back and confirm that with five shot groups. This is just kind of a fun experiment getting started with the 142 grain Sierra Match King. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said in the last video, we did start up a Patreon if you want to go over there and support. It's just kind of some behind the scenes content. Um, if not, thank you guys for subscribing and we'll see you next time.